It was New Year's Eve, and I'd been working the door since twelve noon, so by the time the midnight chimes rang out, you could say I was a bit tired and a little worse for wear. I'd had a few fights and a few drinks in those twelve hours, and rather than call it a day, I went to a couple of different house parties. It was about four in the morning, and I went to the toilet, and there was a lot of commotion on the landing, because a lad was trying to get into the bedroom where a young girl was asleep. So I gave him a clip and staggered into the toilet while he was escorted downstairs. I could hear a lot of shouting as all hell was breaking loose downstairs and it was the lad's friend going mad, shouting he wanted to fight me in the garden. The lad who was shouting the odds was none other than Brian Suckling, who had a fearsome reputation and would fight two or three people at a time if need be. He was as strong as a bull, and had a punch that could demolish a wall. He had no fear, and beat many hard men on his way up the ladder. Nobody wanted to fight this monster, and he was given the nickname, The Caveman. I didn't want to fight him, because I was pissed and very tired. But as he was outside screaming for me to join him on the grass to fight, I felt like I had to go out. That was a stupid mistake on my part. I went into the garden and he hit me with a punch that almost took my head off. And I hit the deck like I'd been shot. My legs were like jelly and I didn't know where I was. But as I'm laid there, the man they call the caveman didn't walk away. He got on top of me and started letting the punches go and they smashed into my face with sickening thuds. I couldn't lift my arms up to protect myself. I was totally at his mercy. Nobody tried to drag him off because they were all terrified of him. While I was getting beaten with an inch of my life, the lad who started all this shit kicked me in the head a few times. Brian Suckling kept smashing away and I thought he was trying to kill me because I could feel myself slipping away with every punch. I have a strong mind and kept telling myself to stay with it and he'll stop soon. But it felt like an eternity to me before he stopped. The only reason he stopped was because he thought I was dead and I almost was. I was cut to ribbons. The flesh on the bridge of my nose was cut and both eyes were cut above and below. I was an absolute mess. And the next day, when the bruising started to come out, I looked like I'd survived being hit by a train. I couldn't see out of one eye, so I went to the eye infirmary, and they said the eyeball was grazed but would heal. The news of the fight broke out all over town, and how easy I got beat. Brian was the new king on the throne, and he revelled in it. He told people, time after time, how we beat Richie Horsley. It was all free drinks, handshakes and celebrity status for the new king. I was told he was going round like he was King Kong. I stopped working the doors until I healed up, and that took a while, because I was in such a state. My pride was hurt, and I was embarrassed by it all, so I just kept a low profile and healed. Every day that night went through my head, and all I could think about was the beating I took. It was a horrendous beating, and people have died for taking a lot less. I knew when I'd healed and got my mind focused, I wanted a return fight with the caveman, the new king.